Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 34, and this is war number 11. Just one war left after this one. And we're going up against an alliance called España Una. I have no idea if I said that correctly, but let's go ahead in here, take a look at our defense here. First, let me look and see who's banned, and they banned my Spider-Man 2099. Okay, um, I hate bans, by the way. I hate the whole banning system, but let's preview real quick here. We'll probably go in with that same team. Let's take a look. All right, so first one up we're going to have to deal with is Venom. Okay, we already know about those. And Unstoppable Armor. All right, well, Claire should be able to handle that one. No one on that second node, which is interesting. Uh, then we've got Human Torch. Um, honestly, uh, Nick Fury could take that fight. Um, should be able to take him out quickly. Before any of these other things uh, come into play. So I might just go ahead and do that. And we got Mole Man down there. I'll try my best not to mess with him or Nova. Then we've got Black Widow, Deadly Origin. If my Nick Fury is, if I still have the life model decoy up, I could take that fight as well. Then we've got Claire to clear um, Guillotine 2099 and Spider-Ham, who I don't like fighting, by the way. Um, that could be a interesting fight. And, oh, we got somebody different here on this node. We've got uh, Kitty Pride. Uh, if I do have to take her, I'll use Warlock. And uh, we got Doom Boss, which, of course, my Spider-Man 2099 would have been fun. But they know what they're doing. And they got rid of three of the very good counters to Doom on that node uh human torch would have took him out easy spider-man 29 would have taken him easy and doom of course himself uh would have taken doom out so let's see really af after we get here it's going to depend on where i'm needed uh you know we got domino my warlock can take domino usually when we get to uh boss island here um our leader We'll look, he knows who we have, and he'll say, okay, well, I want you to uh, take that guy with your, you know, whichever champion he feels is the best counter for it. So I'll go in with uh, this team here. And, man, I, I really... So I, I'm not the biggest fan of war anyway, and I'm looking forward to the offseason. But I was finding a little bit of fun with Spider-Man 2099 fighting some of these bosses. So the little bit of fun that I had got countered by Kabam putting in this banning system. You know, I used to joke and say, well, it looks like they're just dedicated to making war not fun for me. Anytime I find a little bit of fun, they counter it with something else that will take that fun away from me. But honestly, it's just that we have different ideas of what's fun. That's pretty much the bottom line. And my ideas of fun is opposite to theirs. So the things that they do are of necessity going to lessen my fun because we're opposites here. So I get that, accept it. I've heard they're putting in another banning type system where you're going to have whitelisting and blacklisting. Yeah, none of that really interests me, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're back. And we actually do have a little boss action, even though I don't have Spider-Man 2099. We do get to get a piece of that doom in the end. All right, but first, let's get through these fights. First fight is Venom. Lots of buffs. He also has um, unstoppable armor under his belt, which can prove a little distracting, let's just say. 
Uh, now, I know that this video is coming out after the war season is already over. You've already seen my war rewards and everything, but I'm putting these up just for completeness. All right, so Claire, she strips him of his buffs. No problem there, right? But there's always that little chance. Now, I don't know why he was gaining so much power so quickly. Um, I, when I was fighting, I remember going, whoa, he's already out of special two? And I wasn't sure. Now, you can see that my chance to nullify uh, is failing often. And that can prove a pain because um, at any point in time, it'll fail and bam, I'll get hit with that RNG. And you can see I blocked another special two. I am not gonna try to dodge his special two. I can do it, but in war, there's no reward for evading his special two, but there is a dire penalty for failing to evade his special two. So blocking it is. All right, so now we've got Human Torch. Now, Human Torch on this node shouldn't be a big deal, okay? Um, you can control his, his uh, flame or whatever uh, by making sure you bleed him, which is why I went in with Nick Fury rather than with, uh, say, Warlock, who can block the uh, regen. Regen's not gonna matter because I'm gonna be doing so much damage to him and I'm bleeding him, so, you know, I keep his temperature down and I still have the real Nick Fury. But look at that. Quick, smooth, and easy. No need to block the regen, let him regen. Now, I do have the Despair Mastery, so every debuff on my opponent does lower their uh, healing. So that does help. That does help a bit. All right, so I looked at this mole man and I thought about it and said, nah, never mind. Uh, so I went to bed, woke back up. Magically, the middle was cleared. Uh, so move on to uh, section two. And I can fight um, Gwen Spider. Why am I saying Gwen Spider Gwen? I don't know. Uh, Guillotine 2099. I must have her on my mind for some reason. Uh, but anyway, uh, you want to start out knocking her down. And that's going to put her Digicloak on cooldown. That is, to me, my greatest enemy is that Digicloak because I will get into the fight. I'll be fighting and suddenly I'm missing and getting hit because it'll happen real quick. Once you swing, miss, she's punching you. So I want to get that down first. So what you're going to see me do almost always is start the fight off with a heavy attack. All right, now the Digicloak is on cooldown. Now I can go in hard. All right, just boom, 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 boom. I pushed it to a special two, no problem. Dash back three times. One, two, three, as you saw there. Now, what happened and why I wasn't in position is because I had the timing wrong. You can dash back three times, but you have to have the timing right. If you'll notice, uh, when I did that third dash back, I ran up against the uh, edge. So, you know, I just had the timing off. Normally, you can do that. You can also do it with two dashbacks if you do the timing right. She's really weird with the uh, spacing on that. All right, so one, two, you see three, and now I could hit her. All right, so you see how I dashed back three times that time, and I was able to counter her special with a heavy. And then I forgot all about the Digi Cloak like I was just talking about, and you could see what happened. But fortunately, it pushed her to a special two. Okay. And there, I just... I already knew I was too far away. And I didn't want anything to happen. So I played it safe, baited out that special two. I could have taken her out um, earlier than that. But she had already caught me with the Digi Cloak. So I was still kind of, you know, a little wary. 
you know, recovering from that. Now, this guy here, I don't like fighting Spider-Ham. Spider-Ham, and, and I've read his abilities and everything, and, and I do like him when I'm fighting with him and stuff like that, but he'll go unblockable and evade based on uh, power meter, so it ain't fun sometimes. He'll catch you and the fight will be over. He reminds me of Hitmonkey, but I went in with uh, Nick Fury because if he does do that, I've got the real Nick Fury. And I can bleed him like crazy. Uh, I do have maxed out uh, deep wounds. So that bleed lasts forever. All right. So when I came back, I thought I was going to be taking the mini. Just that fast. And I don't know if you saw, the mini was there. Just that fast, he took the mini. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, all right. I, I was ready to take that mini. Now you can see here. We already got somebody in there on Professor X. All right, so I waited and we didn't get the uh, uh, solo on that Doom. But the word came down, just uh, uh, take him out. And I said, ooh, I could do that. My Nick Fury is still, uh, the life model decoy is still out. Now, even though you know, I'm just cleaning up and all that good stuff. I still boost up. Um, I, I try to get into the habit of doing that no matter what. And um, I'm pretty confident, even though I don't have, because Spider-Man 2099 would have tore him up, but that's why they, you know, uh, banned uh, Spider-Man 2099. However, Nick Fury is who I used to take Doom with before. So not too worried. As long as I have the um, life model decoy out, forget about it. All right, so you can see here, boom, 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 get that bleed and you can see the damage the bleed is doing. That bleed is doing some crazy damage. All right, just look at this. And that's all I'm doing. Now I wanna bait that uh, unblockable out. Thankfully, from people con constantly putting Doom as the boss, we hadn't seen it for a while. But Doom was like almost always the boss. I got good practice. We actually fought, I remember in one season, we fought an alliance that placed like five and six Dooms. It was ridiculous, but I got a lot of practice fighting with him, uh, fighting against him. All right, so you can see here, you know, I can evade both of his specials. You know, sometimes I get the uh, timing wrong on that special one and I'll, you know, get clipped or something like that. But most of the time I can evade the special one. And keep in mind, the real Nick Fury is not even out yet. So I'm relaxing here. We're still on the life model decoy. And look at this, boom, boom, boom. And the fight's over. Didn't even need the real Nick Fury. So you could imagine if that Doom was full health even, I would have still been able to take him out. I didn't even get to the real Nick Fury. I love Nick Fury. All right, we'll be back uh, after a brief intermission and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and as you can see, we won this war. We had a very healthy lead by the time I went in uh, and fought the boss. So it really didn't matter even if we didn't have any uh, attack bonus on that final boss, you can see here. All right, so we had a very healthy lead. Very, very healthy. All right, anyway, that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.